Welcome back, you guys. Interesting build today. We haven't done a build video in a little while, and we also haven't had the opportunity to show something off that somebody sent me in a while. So I figured I would take you guys through that. So we had a customer reach out to me. They wanted to end up having their shield done. Got the box, opened it up, and sure enough, here we go. We have a little bit of Cuban culture here. So um, ends up being they sent me some espresso stuff. Very cool there. We have four of those. One's black or one's white, three are black. I don't know what the difference is between them. They all look like they're somewhat the same. But as far as that goes, uh, we'll see how that tastes. And last but not least, they ended up sending me a little bit of seasoning. So um, I have no idea what to do with this stuff because I cut guns for a living and my wife cooks. So I'm gonna pass it over to the professional. I'm gonna let her make good choices for me. And we're gonna see exactly how this tastes on whatever she happens to put it on. Guys, let's take a moment here and let's talk about the build. Thank you very much to the customer that sent me this stuff. We're gonna move this out of the way and let's see. All right, guys, let's take a moment here and see exactly what we're doing on the slide. So the customer sent this in to have the Raptor side window Cerakote package done. We're also going to be adding a top rear logo to the slide. Let's talk about that here for a moment. We've done so many builds over the last two or three years that I'm not even sure we've done this one. I know it's a very popular package on the webpage. You can choose this as a service right from checkout and ship it in. But I don't know if we've ever actually ever done a build video on it with it being such a popular one, sometimes that stuff just gets skipped because we're so busy. Let's, let's discuss it. Let's just kind of go through it and explain it a little bit better why people happen to choose this pattern. With the Raptor Cut pattern, what we end up doing is after we've stripped this down, we get this over to the Tormach 770. We end up cutting a series of three Raptor Cuts on each side. So one, two, three. They're somewhat large. We're going to be able to see some barrel down through that on the top side. And then what we do is we move over to the left and right hand side. We strip off the factory text that's on both sides to really clean up the slide. We happen to see a lot of companies that kind of just cut through it, a little bit of text left over, they don't care. I really want the stuff to look professional. I really want the stuff to look really clean and that's also one of the reasons why I don't slap a logo on your slide when you get it back, okay? I'm very proud of the work that we do, a lot of followers, a lot of customers, so it has nothing to do with, with quality of work. What it has to do is we just don't want to advertise our work. It's your gun, it's your slide. We want this to be, you know, really clean and custom looking, not branded like a NASCAR car going around in a circle. That's not, that's just kind of not the motive of our business. I know there's some other people that are like that, but that's just not us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down with a step down. We're gonna do a dual window on each side. Of course, we're gonna do that on both sides, remove that factory text on what would be the right-hand side and the left-hand side. And then in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're gonna end up doing a flag with a cross on the left-hand side. It's gonna go this direction, okay? So we're gonna end up having a logo that, um, that's gonna kind of fill up the back rear section. So we're gonna have some stars on the right, we're gonna have a cross up here on the left, and it's gonna, gonna go in this manner. So that way, because obviously the logo happens to be longer and less width overall. So guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to get over to the Tormach 770. Looks like it's time to go ahead and get all of that package work turned out. We're going to make our way over to the laser. We're going to go ahead and do that top rear logo. Of course, we're going to clean it, sandblast it, ultrasound it, clean it again, get everything uh, that needs to be done prep work wise. And we're going to put a little Cerakote on it. We're going to reassemble this, bring it back, see exactly how it came out.
All right, guys, let's take a look and see exactly how this came out in the end. Quite honestly, this is a very beautiful build. I really like how we removed the factory text off the sides. Just a much cleaner look overall. Obviously, it gives us the opportunity to see a little bit of barrel in the event that we do something like a color change on the barrel. But nonetheless, we are always getting that weight reduction definitely getting a, a more aesthetically pleasing view overall. Uh, Sniper Gray was the color of choice on this build. Really pleased with it overall. Super, super nice. I like how the Raptor cuts are. We see some nice barrel on top, nice barrel on the sides. Definitely, definitely cool. Now, we also happen to have our logo on the top rear, so we end up having the cross with the flag. Very, very cool. Wanted to kind of show you that in different angles, give you more of a visual here because it's kind of a a pattern in a pattern. So we ended up doing a deep engraving on the rear, which allows us to have almost like a texture fill on the bottom. Gives us a little bit more of a standoff because we only offer the single color Serica or the Battle Worn. And in this particular case, going with something like a single color Sniper Gray and having that uh, deep down texture in the inside definitely gives us a little bit more of a standoff, gives us that little bit more of a two-tone overall. And of course, we'll be adding pictures. want to show you guys it just a little bit better under some natural light outside and some things like that. Guys, I want to take you through another build that we worked on. Did not have the opportunity to film the entire build, but I wanted to show it to you nonetheless. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that build. That happens to be a pretty popular shield build that we offer. But occasionally we end up working on other model slides that we just don't really see that often. And unfortunately, sometimes they get moved through the process and uh, we don't have the opportunity to do a build video because of time. We do stay really, really busy. I did want to show you guys this build. This is obviously a VP9, super cool build. So we ended up going with what's almost like a copper under black uh, battle worn tone. Uh, obviously, we're able to see some barrels through the sides. Now, these are the factory serrations here. We cut out inside of the uh, front serrations. We ended up adding what would be kind of like a top wave cut. So we ended up doing a step down. So we have a little bit of fill texture here. Then we did a step down again, which is a punch through all the way through. Very, very cool. Uh, you know, nonetheless, we did the hollow sun, which also works with the uh, Trigicon on the rear. Um, Dawson Precision front and back irons. We had a little bit of an issue there working with Dawson Precision, getting the correct uh, model for front and rear to make sure they made it with each other and cleared the hollow sun as it's a little bit taller than the Trigicon, but in the end we ended up coming up with the perfect build. We ended up taking the factory H&K barrel, we ended up doing the bomber on it, which is the bomb here. We ended up having the bombs all the way around. I'll tell you what guys, let's take this out, show this to you just a little bit better. Let's put this over here and um, kind of just show you, we can get this guy from rolling away. We're going to show you guys this barrel a little bit better. Now this happens to be the gold polished tin. We have the bomber on the top, micro bombs all the way around. Of course, we'll add some pictures to this build. Very, very cool, interesting build. Something we have definitely not done before. Um, I don't believe we actually have any H&K build videos out there. So uh, one of the things to take note here is that sometimes we do offer services on weapons that you just don't happen to see offered on our webpage. Which also brings us to our next uh, bit in this, and that is if you're not following us on YouTube, you should. There happens to be a lot of older content that's on there. Um, gives you a real good idea of the company that you're supporting as we grow as a small business. You kind of have a feel for quality of work, craftsmanship, and also ownership of, of what we are, what we stand about, and, and kind of how we work on our stuff. Now, we also post a lot of pictures over on our Instagram. A lot of the pictures that get posted over onto the Instagram end up getting reposted over onto our Facebook account. Facebook account is where you're going to find those reviews, guys. So if you happen to want to know from the people that have actually had service done, read the reviews, get a real feel for what they had done, the turnaround time, the quality of work, just a real overall um, opinion of, of how it all went down. So guys, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to use that contacts tab on the webpage. If you happen to have something like this, maybe that you don't really see a whole lot on the web page. Maybe you've seen a picture here, a picture there, but you're not really finding a lot of the services or complete services. Feel free to send us an email. You can always uh, get that email from our videos, marketncengravers.com, or you can use that contacts tab and fill it out right from there. If you want to attach some pictures, I recommend you use the marketncengravers.com and attach those pictures on the first email. More than likely, we're going to request some of those. Guys, always stay learning. That's kind of the uh, kind of the overall visual here, and that is to uh, progressively get better at what you do. Guys, I'll talk to you on the next one.